wonderful friends and welcome back to our English learning channel English Line. So I hope you missed our classes. So in today's lesson we are going to talk about some phrases. When people say to you thank you, what do you usually say? Probably you say you're welcome. But did you know that there are other many phrases how you can say you're welcome. So, in today's lesson, I'm going to tell you and to write down for you 15 phrases how you can use the phrase you're welcome, right? So, instead of repeating all the time, thank you, you're welcome, thank you, you're welcome, we are going to learn new phrases so you will sound more professional, more interesting, okay? So, are you ready? Let's start then. The first phrase is very easy. No problem. No problem. Thank you. No problem. Number two. Not at all. Not at all. Try to say it together. Not at all. Not at all or not at all. Not at all. Number three is no worries. No worries. If you want, if you want to know the to know the exact translation, you can translate these phrases. But usually the main meaning is thank you, you're welcome. The same meaning. Okay? Number four is Anytime. Anytime. Okay, anytime, no problem. Sometimes you can unite them, you can say two phrases instead of one. Number five is it's okay. It's okay. Okay? The next one, number six, is thank you. Maybe you know some phrases. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. No worries. Number seven. Thank you. Not a problem. Not a problem. You see, no problem, not a problem. Very similar phrase. But here you use the article and the, uh, the word not, like full form, right? Not a problem, no problem, doesn't matter. Number eight is very short. Sure, thank you very much. Sure. Number nine. Uh, it's not so popular maybe, but still you can hear or... Uh, this phrase from different movies. So, sure thing. Sure thing. And number 10 is thank you. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Okay? Don't mention it. Let's move to the phrase 11. 11. Thank you. Glad to help. Short form. You see, we don't use subject. You don't say, I am glad to help you. Short. Glad to help. Glad to help. Okay. Number 12. Thank you very much. It's no bother. It's no bother. It's no bother. Next one. 13. When something happened, the person uh, says thanks to you. You say, it was nothing. It was nothing for me to help you. It was Past form, 
it was nothing. Next one, 14, very popular. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Okay. It's my pleasure. Usually in the conversation, uh, people don't say it's, you can make it short, you can say my pleasure. Thank you, my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Very polite way. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last one, number 15. Thank you very much. You say, I'm happy to help you. I'm happy to help. Right? Kind of the same, like glad to help. But here you say happy to help. I am happy to help. You can see, I'm glad to help. But it's more natural to say, like, glad to help. I'm happy to help, right? Once again, let's try to read the pronunciation of these phrases. So, the phrase, thank you, you are welcome. One, no problem. Repeat, not at all, not at all. No worries. You can repeat after me. Thank you. Anytime. It's okay. Very easy. Next one. Thank you very much. That's all right. Not a problem. Not a problem. Next. Sure. Short one. Sure. Or sure thing. Sure thing. Next one. Don't mention it. Very popular also. Don't mention it. Next one. Glad to help. Open your mouth. Glad. Glad to help. Next one. It's no bother. Okay. It was nothing. It was so easy. No problem. It was nothing. Next one. It's my pleasure. Or short. My pleasure. Okay, and the last one, number 15, I'm happy to help, I'm happy to help, it's my pleasure. Sometimes I told you, you can use two phrases, you say, I'm happy to help, my pleasure, or no problem, anytime, or no worries, it's okay. Try to combine them, if you use more of them, it will be more natural. Please, don't repeat all the time, you're welcome, you're welcome, it's too basic. When you start changing the phrases with different phrases, then you will sound, as I told you, more professional. And it will be so natural and it's so pleasant to listen to you. Plus, they are very good ways to be polite, right? The more uh, you use them, the better for you. So, you show that you are a very kind, polite person, right? Try to use them all the time in different ways. For example, one day you just say, no problem, no problem, no problem. Next, number two, you say, don't mention, don't mention. You repeat them so it stays in your mind. Next day, you say, my pleasure, it's my pleasure, it's my pleasure. Next, glad to help, glad to help, glad to help. One week later, you will start, I hope, you will start using them, all of them. Just try to change them, okay? So, memorize, repeat, practice. Memorize, repeat, practice. Thank you, no problem. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you, I'm happy to help you. Thank you, glad to help, anytime, okay? That is all for today, my friends. Thank you very much. What can you say? Oh, you say anytime. Okay. So that is all for today. I hope you will remember these phrases and you will uh, use them in your real life. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, push the button like. 
and if you have any questions please write down them in the comment section below and I hope to see you in the next video and please take care and see you soon bye